Ah, what is going on people of the Witch Doctor and the beginning of this video is going to be very different. Now, are any of you guys Metroid fans because Metroid is a series that I've really been wanting to get into but never really gave it a chance. I've played very, very few and I mean very few. So I would like for you guys, if you have played any Metroid games, to recommend me, recommend me some because I would love to really give the series a shot. I would like to try it as of for something. Actually, I don't know if you guys would want me to post it on the channel because for the most part, I'd be blind and I wouldn't know what I'm doing. But if you guys would like me to, I could probably try to do something for the channel. I don't know. I, it depends on which one you guys recommend. If it's one of the older ones, I could probably definitely record that. I just don't know how timing would work. I basically want to try something that's not Pokemon on the channel and if you guys do request it I will probably do a Metroid game depending on which one you request. I don't know which one you want me to play but uh, yeah. With that said guys let's get straight into the uh, Poke Card Evolution video today and we are talking about Aerodactyl. Now Aerodactyl is definitely one of the cooler Pokemon cards out there definitely super old school guys because the first Aerodactyl as you can see right here on your screen is actually from the fossil set and the fossil set I believe was released in Japan on June 21st 1997 and in October 10th in America in 1999 so that's actually been quite a while so let's go ahead and look at this Aerodactyl. So it has a Poke Power with prehistoric power. No more evolution cards can be played. This Pokemon stops working if Aerodactyl is asleep, confused, or paralyzed. This is actually pretty decent. Now, the thing is, Aerodactyl back then only had 60 HP, which is actually very low. But this one was weak to grass and not water. It had a resistance to fighting and a retreat cost of 2, which is actually pretty heavy for a Pokemon like this. And it had to evolve from a fossil, which that in its own was actually, well, not too hard, but not all that easy either. And its other attack, which is its only attack, for three colorless energies is wing attack for only 30 damage. I don't think you would be using Aerodactyl for offense, but it is mainly just there to be on the bench. So this Aerodactyl for its time was actually not too bad. So now let's go ahead and look at the most recent Aerodactyl. Now, this is probably my favorite Aerodactyl too. Aerodactyl from Fates Collide. Now, Fates Collide is actually one of our most recent sets, or I believe is our recent set. No, no, no. It was one of our most recent sets. And it came out in Japan in March 18, 2016 and May 2nd, 2016 for us in America. So let's go ahead and look at this Aerodactyl. This one is amazing. It has 120 HP. Restored from an old amber. And for one colorless energy, it does bite for 30, which for one energy that actually is pretty decent damage. And Jet Drift, this attack is insane. Two colorless for 120. Discard a special energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So if they actually have an, a special energy on them, which for the most part in the meta, a lot of Pokemon do have a lot of special energy, this card is actually very, very decent. To make things even better, it has a free retreat cost and it has a resistance to fighting, which is awesome. And it is weak to electric, which you do not see too often, which is very, very nice. So this Aerodactyl right here is amazing. So let me go ahead and show you guys, in my opinion, the best Aerodactyl out there as of out of all the Aerodactyls that we had. And I didn't take the picture off because this is it. The Aerodactyl from Fates Collide, in my opinion, is the best Aerodactyl that we've gotten due to the offensive pressure it can cause and free retreat, which is very, very nice. So this thing for just being charged up with just one double colorless can do 120 damage is really, really nice. And not having a retreat cost is great, so you don't have to put a float stun on that. You could easily put a muscle band on this thing and make it even better. So this Pokemon card for Aerodactyl is actually very good in my opinion it is the best one and I if you guys think otherwise you can comment down below I've read the other ones they're pretty decent but I believe 
this one is probably the best one just for pure offensive pressure. You could have some support Aerodactyls, I guess, like the first one from the first set, or from Fossil set, but I believe this one is actually very decent because, think about it, if you have a, a Muscle Band on this and you only have one energy on it, Bite does 50 damage, and that's all it takes is just one energy. Now, yeah, Double Carless, Jet Drift is doing 140. So there's definitely means of powering this thing up and knocking out Pokemon, but for the most part, if you can get this early game, this is great because right off the back, you are doing so much damage with just very little energy cost and a free retreat. How much more better can you get than that? That thing is insane. Anyways, guys, uh, make sure to comment down below your thoughts on the Metroid thing and a Pokemon that you would like to see appear on this series for the cards. I think that'd be pretty cool to see some of the newer things because we haven't been getting too many of those. But uh, yeah, with that said, guys, darkness.